Hi, my name is Paul Davis and this is how to play funk in a few simple steps. Every funk starts with an accent on the first beat, the one. It goes like this, three, four, one, two, three, four. And play it with me, fret seven on the A string. One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. But we gotta make it funky. We add some high steps in there. The punchy high notes that really cut through the mix. Cool, cool, but mm, not really though. We gotta dance. So I'm adding percussive muted ghost notes in between everything I'm playing. Just gently lay your hands on all the strings and strum up and down like there's no tomorrow. That's the idea. Yes. And the next essential ingredient for funk is syncopation. Cool offbeat rhythms. So we're adding a second and third step played with up strums right after the first one. And now bring back the ghost notes. Yeah, woo, awesome. So now I'm going to spice up the chords with our pinky because that's doing nothing at the moment. I'm adding fret 9 and 10 on the high E string. The order doesn't matter too much. You can mix it around. Now it's time to really add some nice single lines and melodies intertwined with these funky rhythms. Let's do it, let's do... So I'm playing fret 7 on G, and 7 and 9 on D. And the second time, 7 to 9, chromatic. So that's two variations. So the steps are now doing a sort of a call and response thing with the single line melodies. It's super, so much fun. But wait, mm, we're doing everything wrong. How can a funk song only have one chord? This is very strange, right? Okay, so we gotta move to the four chord in this case. We're going to the A and we're going to play it as a dominant seventh chord. So I'm playing five and six on the D and G string. And I'm sliding into it from a semitone below. That's right, awesome. Adding a step from five and five on the top two strings. Nice. And a single line melody again. Seven and five on G. Ending on seven with D. So the second time I'm ending with the slide up to the A7 over here. It's just 9, 8 and 9 on the top three strings. So there's two variations on A and two variations on E. Let's combine them. 3, 4. on trick on B2 of the E minor. Such a great trick. So simply on B2 I'm hammering on with my ring finger and middle finger into the E minor 7 chord right after the stab. Sweet! And then another thing. Slide into the 12, classic. From 11 to 12 on the highest string. We can add that any way we like. Okay, so we're almost there and you're doing absolutely great, but we're still missing one key ingredient that concludes this funk lesson. And that is of course, the wah pedal.
there we are. So the tabs for everything I played are available at my Patreon page. So feel free to check it out. And if you think this lesson went too fast, you can also check out my courses, Learn, Practice, Play and Next Level Playing. They're a little more moderately paced, uh, so I think you're gonna like that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. This was the funk lesson, and I hope to see you next time with another video.